General Andrews, and the Dream Stream presents Rapid Runs. This is the 100% category. Um, it's more of the can uh, canonical 100%, so we're not going to be doing the Dark Demon fight because uh, you have to get the password after beating the game and then reset the game and then enter the password to get into the fight. So according to the SRC community, <clears throat> that nullifies a run uh, for 100%. So you won't be seeing the Dark Demon fight. It's just going to be Final Phalanx. Uh, the start time will be basically when we select start on the title menu. And then the uh, final split is basically the last hit on Final Phalanx. Um, and it, yeah, I'm joined here by Throg. Uh, Throg and I ran this game together for a couple of months, and uh, I had a blast doing it. Uh, what are your thoughts, Throg? Um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, we worked a little bit on this before Christmas, and then uh, we signed up for this race. And uh, last few um, few weeks, in particular, I've been uh, working on my time. Uh, so it's been a fun run. There's a lot of there's a few techniques that we're going to be using today. One in particular called the Mercury Cancel. This technique is kind of uh, a big deal. If you make the the technique, you save a lot of time. If you fail it, you lose a lot of time. So um, there might be some uh, some interesting things happening. Interesting things happening tonight. Yeah, exactly. There's gonna there's probably going to be some pretty big shifts in the lead. So um, I think that lends itself to uh, you know being a really cool race. Um, you know, uh, race criteria, if you will. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the only other thing uh, that we, we wanted to mention, so this is 100% run, so we are going to be getting every single item in this game in order to see the final boss. We have to get every item. So if there's ever a question about why did he do that, it's probably because we're getting an item. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do uh, five fire powers um and then we do only four crest powers or upgrades um five scrolls five beakers and then five talisman with your five powers combined i bring you captain demon crest right <laughs> well, that's how it's them. art <laughs> saving retro gaming as we know it all right well i'm ready over here if y'all are ready I'm ready yeah. to go. Yeah, I am good. Uh, let me get to the the title here. Title and I screen. can give you I can give you all a three, two, one, go, and then feel free to hit start on go. Sounds good. All right, cool. Yeah, so they both sound ready, folks. So let's give them that three, two, one, go. Just a quick note, we do pick the Japanese version of this game, uh, mostly for the, um, the dialogue, but also because of this first fight. It's going to make a big difference um, against this first dragon, the zombie dragon, zombie low. Yeah, I believe in the US version, it's with the initial phase, six hits, whereas Correct. in this one, it's three. Yes. Big difference in time also from the dialogue, but yeah, in particular, this particular fight is the biggest difference between the Japanese and the US versions. All right, folks, so pay attention because this run is almost over. They are literally on the final track here in this disgustingly flesh melted skeleton version of a dragon. And there you go. That's it. Actually, Man, I, our journey I don't know is just if I started. Drug. I don't know if I got him. I don't know. It, look, it looks pretty neck and neck here. All right, all right. Um, where are you, Throg? <laughs> well, this, you know where I am. <laughs> like it's which scripted. part of, up here? <laughs> it's which scripted. part of the part? What is he talking about? <laughs> so this is the most scripted part of the of the of the the whole run. It's pretty much uh, a minute twenty, no matter what we do. <laughs> This is scripted. I, I don't. I, I don't know what you and uh, Jen have been talking behind the scenes here, but you know, it's all good. 
You know, folks, don't worry. We're, we're making sure you're paying attention. All right. Now it's time to quote unquote, get good. You're going to see a combination of different tech from both the fact that they're going to fly over certain parts of the field. You will see them shoot certain enemies that are harder to uh, avoid or to dodge. At the same time, certain enemies are going to be in front of certain statues that they need to break down to grab either certain items for their power ups or if they were missing anything for these particular fights. So this first fight, again, is probably gonna go pretty straightforward for these two. Um, once they get past this though, then you're probably starting to see a little more variance in the um, up and down that this run provides. All right, as you can see that they're trying to get all up in this disgusting Griffin's face because honestly, where else would you rather be than knee deep inside of this feathered demon's uh, carcass? So that's why you see them nice and close in there. They figure if they can burn down this beast's feathers, they can move on to the next part of the journey. It was more like hippo grief for me, Throg. I don't know about you. Yeah, he um, decided to throw a lot of uh, splinters instead of uh, dropping down like a nice bird. Same. <laughs> so good. I'm glad that happened to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Or am I? Now, folks, you might be like, wait a second. These two are getting a little spicy already. Don't you worry. These two have wanted to do this. This is not out of some hate or disgust or disdain for each other. It might be for some disdain for the uh, the demons they're about to face, uh, but not for one another. So now you're going to pay attention that they're going to have a lot of very particular movement when they're grabbing sides of these platforms to try to move up faster than to just wait the entire time. So you see him do a little bit of floating. A couple of times they are gonna have to wait because simply that's just the nature of these platforms, like any platformer game that there's sometimes you just can't keep on moving. Uh, but you wanna stay away from those creepy little spires on the side. Cause I mean, they look like spiders. Honestly, we all should stay away from those. Mm -hmm. So I was able to pull off what's called the quick climb. Um, it's used by manipulating that one spider on the right side. Um, the first boss is going to be particularly uh, <laughs> tricky. He uh, loves to troll. He's kind of trolly like that other first. He's the first boss of this stage. Uh, the stage boss, rather, as the other two were more like uh, mini bosses, if you will. This is Arma. He has been sent as his the executioner from Lord Phalanx, who is the uh, the main antagonist of this game. Uh, and Armor is his main general, his more, most powerful demon. Do you think that's the last time we'll see him, chat? Um, I think so, but maybe not. <laughs> right, you're gonna have to stay and find out. Gonna have to stick around if you want to see him again. We'll Arma find wasn't, out. Wasn't particularly nice to me, Tets. <laughs> hey, he was all right with me. He was, a, he was decent. He, he was decent. like, sup. Yeah, nah. He was like, sup to me. So, folks, if you were paying attention there, um, kind of curious on why did one fight go a little bit quicker than the other, there's just a little extra flying. And when the uh, bosses in this scenario are flying out of your range of attack, instead of staying nice and low so you can get multiple attacks in a row, it's going to create for a slower time there. Uh, in the process of everything happening, thank you so much, SinStream, for bringing that raid on over and for wishing good luck to our racers. Uh, can we get a shout out for the most recent raid that just happened? Now, you might have thought, uh-oh, he fell in the water. That's bad. That's bad news bears. No, no, that, that was intentional. That was an intentional movement there. So we're both going for the quick hand grab. Um, we are trying to not get killed here. Yeah, death is not what they want. So if you see that happen, um, thankfully, though, that was right in the very beginning of that uh, opening. So since it was at the very beginning of the opening, it was probably the best place to have perished um, out of all of them because it was like a five, 10 second time loss. I don't know how long the load in is specifically, but if you notice, there's a lot of tricky movement here. So by having a little bit more health, um, it's gonna make it a little bit more stress-free, less pressure as uh, our boys fly and dash through these ooh, very creepy Cthulhu-like layers. So that I like the lights out. 
<laughs> the quick, yeah, so we're both entering what's called the lights out zone. Um, we just have to eyeball it and go by our uh, intuition. We, we don't have time to light these torches. Most players, when they play through this, will light these up. But here, we're, we're just going to go by our instincts. How the uh, the hand grab go, by the way, sir? I got it. I got it, too. Nice. Dude, I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm proud, I'm proud of us. I'm glad we both got it. <laughs> yeah, me too. So, folks, this fight right here is one to let you know that this is why you do not throw anything. It's not like paper, like paper towels and stuff. Like, folks, you, you can't just throw anything down the toilet, okay? Only particular things should be flushed down your toilet. Otherwise, you could end up in a situation here where you have to fight a slime bucket ball of eyes. And, um, you know... You have to explain that to your to your significant other or your family for this mess you might have left. And these runners are handling it perfectly because they're just cleaning up after these de these decrepit beings just leaving all their trash everywhere, flushing whatever they wanted down the drain. And now they have to come here and fire over and over again at these nasty little eyeballs as they try to get the big eyeball up out of the goo so they can finish it off. Oh, and look at me just sink in this, no! dude. It's actually nice and warm. Oh. Yeah. You know, the reason we purposely sink into the stew is that we can grab the item faster because the, the level ends when we grab the item. Very cool. And another cool. raid coming on in from Turtle Graveyard. Thank you so much. We are representing the Alzheimer's Association today. Brother Bill, welcome on in. You are watching right now a race between two different individuals who are extremely talented and dedicated to this game right now. Both yeah, Rog TV and Tetsuo. Hi, Ash. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Ash. Hello, Ash. Also, hello, Sin. I saw you in here earlier. Nice Sam, body. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for the support. I actually got a gold split on that off new news. I was very happy about that. You are cracked out of your mind, sir. Have I ever told you that? <laughs> well, whenever I try to tell you that in your chat, you're like, you're cursing the run. Stop it. I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to pipe it up, man. No, no, no you're no. right, though. <laughs> I, I just I always say that because something bad always happens. <laughs> well, I'm not saying that doesn't happen, but you know. <laughs> No, it's usually you say something and then I fail it and then I go, yeah, I had to say it. Yeah, I had to say, yeah, it. I had to say something. <laughs> this guy. I gotta, blame, I gotta blame somebody. It's it's not my fault that I messed it up. It's the speedrunner way. It's controller, it's, someone in it's chat. Easy, it's the game, it's the chat or it's the game. Yep, every time. It's not my fault, ever. <laughs> Never. Oh, folks, if you right. didn't know, if you check on the numbers, it's probably accurate in somewhere, somehow, you know? Well, oh, come on I in, died, everyone. Dude. Oh, you actually... Did you? Yeah. I'm curious where. So what I did there was death abuse, so that was <laughs> totally okay. intentional because of the route. I was Sorry, thinking that was the I was well, thinking now, that was well, the case. Well, now, now I know exactly where you are, so that <laughs> you've, you've revealed to me your your <laughs> your location. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Can you do that to All me right. too? Uh, I just died. So, yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> we're going we're going for the one the life up. We definitely want that. So there's a, a life max up that we have to get over to the left side of the woods we can't do that unless flame lord has burned the, the forest to the ground aha uh -huh. and we're going to switch over to the earth gargoyle because it lets us dash along we move a lot faster instead of flying along it actually increases our speed by quite a bit i would say he seems like he has a lot of good movement i remember just playing this for um a blind uh, race against somebody. And yeah, he definitely seems like he can glide a lot faster. And it took a lot from Mega Man X, I feel like, to make this game and to make the, the movement and the, the layout for Firebrand. Ah, okay, okay. I can see that. Nice fight, Tetsuo. Thank you, thank you. 
five. So uh, the Flame Lord takes okay. 20 hits um, with the Earth Gargoyle. Uh, if you do the ground attack, that's two. Um, there's a way where you could time it to where you, when you uh, approach the 20th hit, you could uh, nice. put your sprite to where the item's going to drop and then I'll save significant time, basically. It saves eight seconds. I didn't get it, though. I didn't either. <laughs> you didn't? Nope. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. Good. Off to the shop. Off to the shop. Yep. So this shop is actually, there. there's a reason why they're doing what they're doing. Or you see both of them start to end up here real soon. Do you want to explain a little bit why you're breaking these the way that you're breaking them, if there is any rhyme or reason? Well, it's pretty much just whack-a-mole. Um, and you, I pretty much just go for where the most recent skull appeared. Um, and then, uh, you know, I go from there. And then normally, like, it's a uh, skull will be adjacent. And you, that way you could, it's in the proximity. Got it. Yeah. And do you so have to collect the, the, the little things to get the points or do they auto collect for you anyways? No, that's just currency. So oh. you don't need to grab those. You just need to grab the um, health upgrade at the end. Aha, uh -huh, very cool. Which the I forgot to mention, you do have to get all the health upgrades for the 100% as well. I was just about to ask you if it's like Mega Man X in the sense of, you know, certain things like health upgrades you have to do to get the 100 percenter. Yeah, we do. We also need to make sure we have enough money to buy our potions so that we're going to be buying two types of potions. The most important being the mercury. This is why we do our mercury cancels. Oh. Uh, when we do is we grab the item from the boss while we use the mercury potion and it sends us back to our last set checkpoint this is the major um, sequence break of the game for this run. Oh, wow. Okay. That's going to be cool to see. <laughs> it is a two frame window, so it is one of the major tricks that can fail. So. Oh, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Very scary. <laughs> it's always scary. <laughs> yeah, two pray frames is not too many, pray folks. For us, pray for us, chatters. Yes. We can we, can we get some praise <laughs> and some blesses out there in chat? It sounds like they're going to want it. They're going to need it. So Tetz is probably a step ahead of me. Um, he's probably setting his checkpoint now, I imagine. A little while ago. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> uh. Gotcha. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> wait. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Why I oughta? So now this boss casually is an absolute nightmare. What's he like? in the speed run oh worse okay worse oh, okay yeah. he's, he's significantly worse because we are using um our um earth gargoyle instead of using an air gargoyle yeah. which i feel like most people take the, get the air gargoyle before fighting the flyer we use the earth gargoyle um as it's just a more efficient way to run the level got it Look at this. Look at that. these nasty flying creatures. Oh. All right, Throg's now getting that beat down going. Tetsuo has burnt the beast to the ground. One thing I love about this game, too, is the sound effects in this game are also very reminiscent of Super Ghouls and Ghosts for me. When I hear the... Oh, oh, yeah, the sure. sound, sound fonts are amazing in this game. Love it. So this is a back-to-back -back boss fight, huh? Yeah, it is. Oh. Oh. Drog, oh. I need to check in. What's going on? He just beat... Something. If no! <laughs> And I messed up the Mercury cancel. Uh, did you, uh, in the bad way or the... The, the real bad the worst way. way? The oh, worst man. Way. So I'm going to lose probably at least two minutes from that. That's pretty bad. Does that mean because you have to, like, gar like get that 
collected elsewhere or something like that? What, what, why is it costing the two minutes just to people who just tuned in? So I, I have to do the stage over and beat that boss again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got I, it. I, okay. I died on Hippogriff. So, that's so if that's any consolation. It's not. I died on him too. <laughs> Dang it. Well, I tried. <laughs> it, I guess it, it's a little bit, but not a whole lot. That is one of the largest, like, uh, the biggest practice spots that we do is, is, is that Mercury cancel <laughs> and that boss fight, the, the flyer. I, I can imagine. I the, I'm just happy I killed the boss, honestly. Yeah, I almost died on flyer. <laughs> it's, it was yeah. not going well. Yeah. And for anyone that's just tuning in and kind of curious, like, well, why, why is it always so close for a lot of these fights? It's, I mean, a lot of the times they are doing these things in the fastest routed way possible uh, versus what's going to be the most optimal for the easiest path to resistance. Oh. Nice save. I thought you were about to get knocked off into uh, <laughs> the abyss Ghost. there. Ghost was being a bully. And we do have two more Mercury cancels, so I'm just saying, like, there's opportunity for me to mess up still and for Drog to catch up. You just never know with this run. Also, the uh, the placement seems like it's a tough thing to get used to for the uh, tornado as well. A little extra platform. It yeah, is. at first it's yeah a little weird, but the way it best works, the best way to describe it is you want to fire it as you're going up, and you'll land right on it. Love it. Makes me think. Makes me think of Mega Man Two when you're trying to put that uh, those platforms out there. You're kind of shooting and then just ju already jumping and landing on top of it. That's a that's a good way to, you know, uh, describe mm -hmm. it. It's just a very similar situation. <laughs> Not oh. the Megas. <laughs> mm. Oh, nice save! Wow. Okay. Okay. Whew. By both of them, actually. That's so funny. At the same exact time, both of them had really clutch moves there. Yeah, with the Arma 2 fight. By the way, I'm glad uh, everyone stuck around to see if he came back, because he did. I think that's <laughs> the last time you see him, though. Pretty sure. But yeah, he does way more damage if you contact him as opposed to the first encounter. So it could be a pretty sketchy fight. Another thing I noticed that a lot of people don't uh, realize it's a part of this platformer game is there's actually a lot of um, um, overworld mapping, routing. Um, how long did it take you to get used to that part of the run? The overworld uh, ra routing is actually pretty easy once you, you've played the game enough times. Okay. Yeah, you get pretty comfortable pretty quick. Um, but what helps too are your splits. So like the split names indicate, you know, where you need to go next. Uh -huh. So that's a nice system as well <laughs> this is really bad because i gotta go back into this level and fight the flyer again oh oh no <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> the flyer is mean and uh, bye i'm bye gonna bye. call its parents bye bye tetsuo off to iceland <laughs> 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 Luckily, I got the air, the air gargoyle now, which will help with the speed of this level. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> that movement. I got clipped. <laughs> oh. Sorry if I'm being quiet right now, I'm finding Grey Wan, which uh, it's pretty tight uh, getting the um, you know, b before Grey One like jumps. When you see Grey One kneel down like that, that's your like cue to um to basically shoot. Um, otherwise, Grey One may like jump wherever, and uh, it does a lot of da Grey One does a lot of damage. Grey One, more like Grey Loss. <laughs> almost, I almost lost it there. So are you actually Great controlling user. the fight by being up in the air like that? Does that like create your way of turning it into like a repeatable pattern? 
<laughs> yeah, so it's like not guaranteed manipulation, but um, yeah, it's like more more or less keeping Grey Wan uh, static in yeah. terms of movement, but sometimes Grey Wan will like get out of that. Um, and that's just totally random. You can't do anything about that. That makes sense. Oh. That was a nice All quick right. kill. And Flyer is nice and roasty. As you can see with the, the air gargoyle, it's much easier to fight this car, this boss. <laughs> yeah, that was so quick. <laughs> I was like, oh, that, was, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, when instead of relying on the ground slash like we do normally, I am able to just use the air. And I'm off to do my Grey Wand fight. <laughs> so right now, would we both assume it's about a two minute lead? Because of that current, um, that Mercury cancel, yeah. it cuts off about a minute thirty. Minute thirty. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. If if I had collected the item instead of doing the cancel early, it would have been a minute instead of a minute thirty. So I okay. actually did it the the worst way possible, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Which is to, it, it happens all the time. You do it a little early. It looked like the item was touching me, but it just, it, it hovers over your body in a way that looks like it's touching you, but it's just not. Whew. Again, it's that two, two frame window. It's very tough. Yeah, exactly. This, this is bad. Yeah, I was looking, I was like, I don't know. Oh, he made it. That room, that ice room went really bad there. Well. Oh. I, I I really need Tetsuo to mess up here. <laughs> I am messing up here. Hey, uh, I really need him to make at least one error. Well, here's... Guys, guess what? Flyer's back. Did we all miss Flyer? Yeah! <laughs> Welcome back, buddy. If you've never seen this boss before, folks, don't worry. You get to tune on in and see it again. So as you were saying about Grey Wan, the reason we, we fly right over his head, it forces him to do one of two things. He either will duck down and jump again, or he's going to run away and jump off the wall. Um, what we want him to do is always duck his head and jump. And sometimes he just does that the whole time, and it's wonderful. Ah, well, that's nice of him. <laughs> eh, it's more like coerced. It's, not... <laughs> it's like training a, a, a dog, right? Like. Not that, sure. not that, like harshly or anything. I'm just saying, like that, that's a bad analogy. I'll just, I'll just go with that. Yeah, sorry. there you go. All right, all I'm right. Sorry. He's, he's, he's moving on <laughs> yeah, from just, it, folks. Just a, um, yeah. I'm about Thanks, two coach. minutes behind. Yeah, that, in terms of my, uh, probably in the run and probably uh, like about that in my PB as well. <laughs> okay. So at the moment, though, maintaining quote unquote expected paces. So that's not bad. It's not bad. Let's go, folks. I was really hoping not to fail the MC, the Mercury Cancel. <laughs> that's the main one that we're like, oh, we really want to get that one. The other the other Mercury Cancel save about 15 seconds each. That one saves a minute and a half. So. <laughs> Dang. How? It's, just, it's nuts how certain ones, folks, because based on the level and um, the following sequences, how it affects things. And don't worry, Turtle Singer, that wasn't me. That was Tetsuo. Tetsuo's fighting dogs and, you know, has different opinions. Exclamation point disclaimer, folks, for anyone that's ever curious. That's ever curious. You, ne you never need to worry. You never need to worry about me. No dogs were harmed in the making of this speedrun. Correct. Correct. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that was a, a demon dog spear. I'm, I'm not, I don't think it was an actual doggo. Pretty sure. Uh, that was... Uh Arma camouflage as a wolf. Oh, okay, so uh, not so even. You... Yeah, that's deep lore stuff. So this is technically the fourth encounter of Arma. <laughs> wow, that's he's totally fabricated. I'm lying. I'm sorry. Dang but... it! I was ready I for was the gonna... lore drop. I was gonna say he's he, he's making that up. <laughs> oh. I was like I was like Arma. I need I need your whole backstory. I mean, otherwise, why does Firebrand exist? Oh, don't get me started. So, folks, there was a day that, you know, good old Firebrand decided, you know what? I don't want to be a bad guy anymore. I want to be a good guy. 
And so I started shape-shifting. And once I started shape-shifting, I was like, you know what? I can take on any of these guys, huh? Like, what do you think I am? Think I'm a flyer or not? And so that's what he does. He's up in his face. You think I'm a flyer? Huh? huh? Right? Get out of here. Yeah. They understand. I love it. <laughs> All right. I saved a little time there. I'm gaining some time. Very nice. Okay, I was just about to ask you, Tetsu. Was there a reason why you went down low there and then you're backing up? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So when I turn around ever, that's like a, a backwards damage boost, with, which gives oh. you more forward momentum. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. It's just like saves time as pro, as opposed to getting uh, the like uh, if you're facing forward, then it knocks you backwards. Cool. Basically. Okay. I also hated going through this area the first time I went through it. The skull, crossbones, graveyard area. Yeah, those guys are really <laughs> mischievous with the skulls. <laughs> it's like you make it look so easy. And I'm like, folks, just so you know, if you struggle with that, it's okay. I did too. Uh, some second Mercury cancel coming up. Let's see if I uh, mess it up. Mess it. Miss. What? What was that? Huh? Did, he, did he get it? Was that someone in chat? to find out. Yeah! Let's go, baby! Wow. Wow. Look at this show off. Yo, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I messed up. <laughs> I thought we were leaving the gloves on there. <laughs> so I'm getting a little soft to you. <laughs> That's this right, guy, We're walking you, huh? This guy is he's crazy. <laughs> oh, I almost missed an item. Oh, I'm so glad I recognized that. Oh my gosh. That would have been terrible. <laughs> I'm I'm Whoa. I'm kind I'm kind of needing you to do something terrible cuz like <laughs> I, I made that one mistake. I've been I've been gain I'm making up time, but unless you make a major mistake, it's it's gonna be all you. It literally all, almost happened. <laughs> Don't worry. You, run. you two are doing great. You, you two did not run Earthbound and die over and over. You all are you got this thing right. Like Tetsu is gonna eventually feel a little bit of pressure. Maybe the thumb slips a little bit. You're gonna keep on inching your way, and it's gonna come down to that final boss fight. You know, it's gonna come hey, down to that final hey. boss fight. It could happen. Uh, that's absolutely possible. The last boss fight is a, is a run <laughs> maker or killer, <laughs> depending yep. on who you talk to. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, back in the drink for me. And as you can see, I'm back in the in the Coliseum. Uh, this is the last time you'll see the Coliseum. Sorry. All the Coliseum, Coliseum fans. Yeah, that's well, me. Any uh, Colise Coliseum ers? That didn't work. Yeah, Coliseum <laughs> attendance. Yes. As John Fisher continues to sell the team away to Vegas. God, look at this. Look at it, folks. That's what Vegas looks like. Look at it, it's on fire. There's you demons. See the raiders. <laughs> demons everywhere. Spiders crawling on the wall. Yeah, I mean, I've been to Vegas a few times, that's accurate. Yeah. All right, so coming up here, Tetsuo, you are now flying through a section which obviously looks a lot faster than the platform climbing with Firebrand um, normal state. Yeah, correct. Um, I, you, if you can get away with it, you want to use the Earth Gargoyle because the dash is the fastest movement in the game. So still, you um, would want to really use that Earth one. It just is so yeah. much more precise. Yeah, it's more precise. You could get more punished if you know your movement's not optimal. Um, but if it is optimal, it is. It's faster compared to any other of the crest powers. Cool, cool. <clears throat> so this is a new area you're finally in over here. And a uh, very beautiful, beautiful track. Yeah. That was clean. Let's say, let's I was uh, able to get an MC there. Oh, were you? Okay, cool. Oh, you got it? I got one. Let's go, baby. Not, 
not a, not the best one, but a good one. <laughs> it's it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I got one out of I got one out of two. <laughs> and there's three total. There's three total. There's one more on the boss that Tetsu is probably coming up on. Okay. Yep. So we do the three Mercury canceler out. Um, there is a six Mercury canceler out for the more advanced runners. Oh, that's it's interesting. Not, oh, look at that. It's not 100% necessary as many of the top runners don't even do the six. They do what, like five maybe? Uh, I, I know. know. I know at least like the old world record didn't even require um, like all of them. I think like only like the top, top, top dogs are doing the six, right? Yeah, like Lay Hulk. Um... Yeah. He also does that weird, that whirlwind strat. I don't understand. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the one in the town underground. Uh huh. All right, third Mercury cancel. Let's see if I mess this up. <laughs> Wow. Did you get all three? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Is that what I sound like? <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah. He is he is not putting he's not pumping the brakes anytime soon, apparently. Oh, that's an intentional drop down to that water section. Okay. I did not realize yeah. that. I was yeah, like, that's what yeah, you use the Mercury cancel just to, instead of having to go back to the overworld and coming back to this, uh, oh, you know, and re-entering the level. That makes sense. Okay, cool. Yeah. And if you mess up that Mercury cancel, it's not that bad. It's like maybe 15 to 20 seconds time loss. How hard yeah, is moving through this section without the water, or can you not? It won't let you. It won't let you. You have to be in the water. Uh, this is this level. Um... Yeah, this part of the stage is always submerged in the water. Um, and uh, getting back to this part, like without doing the Mercury cancel is not that bad. You just do like that first screen that you saw earlier with all the statues yeah. and pillars and stuff. And you just go under the water in that part. So it's not too bad. Pretty straightforward. I'm playing cats up. <laughs> At least I'm in the water level. Yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Close it on in. We're both playing in the water over here. It's nice. I really Get do out like of my freaking pool. <laughs> I really do like these shared um, sprites. More like Carl, man. Because like in this section here, what's really cool that I like, because I didn't see this when I played the game casually, is that uh, the spike area is just like for Super Ghouls and Ghosts when you're on the water rat level. And they have the spikes that you have to, you know, avoid while you're on the raft. So that was really cool just to see them using it here as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the armor. So I'm going <laughs> to equip the armor here because you could get thrashed really easily and stuck, um, you know, in the in the sprite. I was curious. He looks massive. <laughs> yeah. Holothurian. And it's RNG, like which way you get sent, basically. That was actually a pretty good fight. Um, but yeah, I could go like so many different directions. Got it. I'm, I'm gonna need you to get a not so good fight there, Tetsuo. <laughs> can I have a ref recount it? <laughs> just a, just a, a not so great fight, just. Don't worry folks, Throg's gonna take down Pizza Face from Spaceballs in just a matter of seconds. <laughs> And it'll get right back in this. Let's go. It's one of the ugliest bosses I've ever seen. <laughs> he didn't hear that, did he? Oh, his eyes, oh right when his eyes opened, Throg took him out. I think we're good. Oh, okay, he's gone good. Yeah. I hate that guy. No Mercury cancel from me. But I still got a gold. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Golds are good. I got gold last split. Oh, snap. You you were right, Throg. He's not holding back anything. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's, he's not even letting me have that. 
<laughs> it's like, oh, you got a gold? I got a gold too. What's He's up? Gold. Oh, me too. Gold brothers. <laughs> nice work, Tetsuo. Keep it going. Yo, thank you. Thank you. Was that hollow done? Is that hollow down? Yeah, I'm in a uh, scholar. You already fighting him? No. Uh, past it. Or no, no, no. No, I'm in the approaching. <laughs> Approach, yeah, he's he climbing towards it. Damn, you two bosses ahead of me, you gonna lap me. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, if you really take it down, though, like, the, the big time difference really at the moment is the, um, what you y'all described earlier, which was that, you know, that cancel what it's worth because otherwise this would be like a 30 second race that's that's anyone's race pretty much yeah uh that that mercury cancel was pretty killer um i haven't had any uh major catastrophe since but uh i'm just i'm gaining back time from that minute 30 i lost i'm gonna put that armor on like tetsuo just said because uh this whole section, uh, you want to get keep as much health as you, you can. What does the armor do as a negative besides the positive, obviously, which is giving you the more health? Um, we can't use the hand anymore, which allows us to fire faster. Ah, okay. The hand is very key in this run because it allows us to uh, hit more of the smaller enemies. Uh, especially think about the, how useful that is versus the eyeball boss. In yeah, the run, yeah. All those, all those eyeballs need to be hit at least three times. <laughs> or also uh, opens up for more menuing, which wastes time as well. Right. All things considered, I'm pretty happy with the way I'm running this. <laughs> yeah, I know this all seems really, really good. It's, it's, it's really exciting. It's again, if, if Tetsu, Tetsuo does have a major mistake, I mean, we're talking about neck and neck once again. So obviously Tetsuo, he's like cracking the knuckles. Like, <laughs> I'll show you a major mistake. It's like, whoa. Nice boss kill. Dang. Thank you. That went pretty smooth. I was say, you didn't seem like you were floating around at all. It was just constant damage. That's the way we want to do it. <laughs> Nice climb and bell ring by Tetsuo. Thank you. You, you see, Firebrand is so. I, I, I'm not even pressing anything. Oh, on you're the not. <laughs> no. I was like, the man, are so cheery. Really excited today. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So that's gonna give you, so you can have a platform. I was like, aren't those spikes? <laughs> yeah, it's He's like the only the time that you get that you get to really show off that, uh, you know, the weapon. Nothing can stop the claw. The claw, yeah, it's the most underused weapon in the game, but it works really good for that one spot. Now I'm doing my watery cavern. Watery cavern. It's a song by Frank Sinatra, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, watery cavern, where is my whiskey? Something like that. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm not a musician. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. All right, there yeah, we that go. That was clean. That was clean. So does this game have a lot of refights? I know that one boss you refight, and now I'm starting to see this doggo back again. This Hippogriff. is a... Uh, Arma five, but yeah, gray okay. one too. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's, that's not <laughs> Arma five. <laughs> Dude, like, have you read like the devs journal of this game? No, tell me. There's no such thing, but oh, uh, if you have, let me know. Dang. I don't know of its existence. All right, so you're you're about to fight this really uh, large demon here. This really um. Some people might even say uh, is fit for the bodybuilding circuit. Um, who do you got here on tap? Uh, on tap, I got, you know, the flying demon. Then I'm going to switch back to uh, the most powerful one. 
which uh, I don't know what you would call that one. Throg would probably know better than me. A legendary gargoyle. Thank you. Yeah, so legendary gargoyle just whoops some butt. It does uh, quadruple damage. Now, if you beat this boss right here early on, doesn't that end the game for the bad ending? Yes. So um, the castle, you don't even play through the castle. It just goes straight to uh, Phalanx. Yeah, yeah. And it's just the first phase. Okay. And that's the bad ending. There's also the uh, not best ending, which is um, slightly different. If you don't get 100%, Oh. You still go through the castle and fight him, but you don't get his last phase. Interesting. Very cool. Welcome on in, Darwins. Yes, we have two lovely gents racing each other in this classic Super Nintendo title. Well, I'm gaining, I'm gaining time back. That's I'm good. Only a, I'm only a minute off my PB. <laughs> that's big. Let's go. Yeah, that's still really good. I mean... Pfft. Things could go south, like for any runner, really, in this run. So, well, that MC in particular always fucking gets me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it always it gets just... me. It's scary, man. Like your nerves could shoot up like easily, like with that part. So, a lot on the line. And again, these two are making this game look so much easier, folks, than it actually is with how quote-unquote haphazardly it looks like they are approaching every level. I would definitely suggest taking your time when you play this for funsies because you're going to want your health for a lot of these boss fights. There's a lot of different sequencing that they just happen to know from all the time that they've put in. Like this this, this Medusa Goro seawater creature over here. You know, like that's, that's just not normal. You don't wake up rolling out of bed saying, you know what, today I'm going to defeat the Sea Gorgon. No, no, this is after years and years of practice. They've toiled over this thing. They were sweating. They almost lost their family over it. But they are dedicated, and that's why they're here today performing for us. Also, folks, we're doing this for the Alzheimer's Association. Exclamation point, donate. Even if you can't donate yourself, that's okay. Go ahead and spread some awareness. It helps a lot to get some information out there about Alzheimer's and. Oh, oh, um, also getting up for Alzheimer's and dementia. That pupper's always made such a sad sound. So it distracted me. <laughs> I got distracted. Whatever. All I think about when that wolf makes a sound is that purple drapes command. <laughs> purple drapes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I've wanted purple drapes. <laughs> Oof. This boss seems got a lot, yes. a lot of health. Wow. Uh, this is... <sighs> oh good, the water doesn't hurt you. I was like, oh no. Oh it does. Oh no! I got really lucky. Okay. I'm gonna need you to stop being lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Look at this, folks. Wow. Yeah, time. Uh, uh, GG. 45. GG. You, Very good. Uh. I had one HP for most of that fight throw. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, I was like, oh. oh my God. I got so quiet, folks. Is like, he, 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 he couldn't just throw it. He couldn't just throw it. <laughs> I was thinking about it. Okay, like, I have feelings too. I saw that water touch, and I thought he was dead there. Cause I was like, oh, he doesn't dude, take any I damage. It, cool. Yeah, I was surprised I didn't touch it, dude. <laughs> so I, when you said that, like, it, you know, it clicked. <laughs> I'm like, yep. Yeah, I should have died. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to be like, oh, no, the water's fine. Anyone jump on in. You know what I mean? But then like I was you said, like, nope, it should have hurt me. I'm like, oh, OK. <laughs> OK. Yeah, that was um, I'll have to find it and like show Throg because he, he'll laugh. <laughs> 
Can we get a shout out for Tetsuo right now? That's with four O's at the end. And then we'll shout out Throg as soon as Throg is done uh, playing and defeating this last little section. Yeah, guys, make sure you root on Throg. Please. I, lo I love watching Throg run this game. Um, Throg got me, like, Throg, like, legit, like, helped me, like, get even more interested in this run. He was like, he called me up one day and he was just like, if you don't speed run this game again, bro. Nah, but yeah, Throg's the real deal. It's true, folks. I had that phone call happened like six years ago and actually they used a pager to first communicate. And then they were like, you know what, bro? I got like this system called the Super Nintendo and uh, we got to play this game Demon's Crest. And now look what they are. Now they're on the dream races. Now they're helping raise money for the Alzheimer's Association. They're making my job easier. And now I don't have to play the game. I can just talk. This is much better. Oh. All right, all right. Throg's just trying to make me sweat a little bit. Pulling a little Tetsuo action there. So, folks, when the hands are in the way, you can't do any damage. You have to wait for the face to um, reveal itself. But as you can tell, as soon as the face is revealed, it wants to shoot off a large blast of uh, negative energy. The kind we don't want here, right? We're dreamers, you know? Hey, hey. But yes, folks, keep on getting those GGs ready because Throg is going to beat this boss. Oh, yeah, it's looking good. I mean, shoot. I don't know if I curse the run now. Uh, <laughs> nah, you're good. I got this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You got this. Oh. Okay. There's Ow. a curse. <laughs> <laughs> no. <fuck. laughs> He's there it is. <laughs> uh, he's only, Yo, GG, brother. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> only, tw only 20 yo only 20 seconds off 27 seconds off my pb ggs really folks get some That's big old ggs in chat and i failed the cancel <laughs> if i had gotten that cancel i'd be a minute 30 up i would have been a minute up on my pb wow that was, a, that was a fire man that was a fire that was lit dude um that's a great run because yeah, it just shows you that like it just came down to a sequence that's worth just so much time versus oh did i do poorly it's like no, that's... You would have been a minute ahead of your PB. Dang. I performed incredibly well after that terrible mistake. <laughs> You're like, let me just take the pressure off me right now. Okay, cool. This is easy now. <laughs> it it kind of did. It kind of was just like, all right, this... I'm, I'm working my way from behind, so it just didn't make it as... That's frustrating after that. It was just, I was smooth sailing after that for some reason. <laughs> yeah. I, I was all like, okay, like, like you're really in this still because you're, you're right there. That was good. Well, no, if you die on the last boss, sometimes it can take several, you know, another minute, minute and a half to beat him. Dang. That's a lot. Yep. He has a lot of help. Yeah. That's like a long fight for that final boss as well. Yeah. I went for the quick kill. Um, and I, I got the setup, but then I got hit out of it. And sometimes you just want to bail because like what happens is when the body or the hands of Final Phalanx contact you, that's four HP oh, damage. Oh, that okay. That's why your health was melt. Like you had so much and then out of nowhere you had like no health. Okay. Yeah. So it's like really bad. Whereas like when one of the orbs hit you or uh, that lightning bolt or the lava, I think that only does one HP to you. So sometimes you want to just like, you know, purposely take a hit from one of those just so you have those iframes just to get out of there and, you know, uh, get set up again for the fight. <laughs>